大家好，可以听到吗？老师好。啊，你们大家都可以开呃视频，让我看你们的脸。老师好。啊，你好。好，我们现在开始It is easy to draw a picture of a foot. The foot can indicate a footprint or it can indicate the actual foot. It can be a left foot or a right foot. It can be pointing up, down, right, or left. It can indicate anything related to motion. In ancient times, there were not many ways to draw a foot. You could have one or two or three or four feet, etc. In modern Chinese, there are a number of components that are derived from the foot. There is the left-hand foot, zhi. Zhi originally means a foot or a footprint. Ting zhi means stop going or stop. The character bu, you can see from the original pictograph that there are two footprints. One is from the left foot, the other is from the right foot. As the character evolves, the feet get more stylized. The two feet come together. After many years, it comes to the modern character. The two feet become one glyph. San bu means to take a walk. Bu xing means to walk. This is the oracle character zhou. It means to go or to take a walk. We see a man on top who appears to be swinging his arms as if walking or running. On the bottom, we see a foot indicating the man is walking. The character evolved as we can see in the seal character and the modern character. This character also appears as a component in many other characters, usually having to do with walking or moving. We see the character to rush, gan, or chao, meaning to surpass. The original character meant to run, but now it means to walk. The character wang means to walk forward. You can see in the ancient character, there is a foot on the top going forward, zhi, and on the bottom is the character for king, Wang. Wang is a phonetic. It tells you how to pronounce the character. And the foot on top tells you that it has something to do with motion. In the seal character, they added the component chi on the right hand side, which is from road and indicates motion of some kind. In the modern character, the original Wang gets changed to the remnant Zhu. In modern Chinese, we often say Wang Qian Zhou, which means go straight ahead. Chu means to leave or to go away. In the seal, we can see it means to go out of a particular place. It is a picture of a foot which is going out of a cave. Long ago, people lived in caves, so this looks like a foot coming out of a cave. Zhi has the basic meaning of to go. Zhi is a cursive form of zhi, which comes from zhi, which comes from a foot that is starting out from someplace, a bottom line. It originally had the basic meaning of to go. Now it usually indicates that the preceding phrase modifies the following phrase. 
it is borrowed for sound to indicate it, him, her, them, or go to. Sivinger e means four parts go into one, or one quarter. Ah, you may or in your winty or she gin. Ah, woman can dig a yo bajong jow, yo yo jow, so jow. So a good idea show you a jong bajong jow. Around the time I wait yen bian. You have to show you a good jow, lag a jow, sang a jow, sig a jow. 那么我演变到现在的一些构建，都是跟移动有关系。呃、uh, ，So in ancient times, now we can easily write eight kinds of feet, either the right foot or the left foot, going forward, backward, uh, right or left. And from these feet, uh, we can derive. A number of different modern characters, and besides being a right or left foot, or going forward or backward, you can also there are also cases where there are two or three or four feet. Any questions, comments? 没有老师。Oh. So we're here. We have a very common component, zhi. It means to stop, or it actually means to go forward. It depends on how you interpret it. We can see the in the bronze character. We can clearly see a foot or the toe. In the oracle character, we can see the foot and the toe. The seal character, we can still see the toe, and in the modern character, if you look at it step by step, you can still still see the foot and the toe. It's a left foot. So this is a very common use of a gojian. We can say it's a jiao or a jiao ying. 它是个左边的脚，从那个经文可以看得到。加个文，你可以看它的大拇指，左边的大拇指。然后，如果你很详细的看那个演变，你一直可以看那个大拇指，一直到现在的汉那个汉字的构建。So we have the word "ting zhi," which means to stop. But "ting" means to stop, and "zhi" means to go. So, if we analyze the characters, it actually means to stop going, and "zhi" actually means to go rather than to stop. But since this character "ting zhi" is so common, everybody.、Uh, Looks at the word, and they think "zhi" means to stop, but actually, if we do the analysis, it means to go. So stop going, "ting zhi." Woman, uh, 现代的汉语有一个常用的词，呃，常常用的词叫“停停止”。如果我们分析这个“止”。这个是往前走的意思，所以停止是不要走的意思，不要往前走，停止就是 stop。有另外一个常用的字是步，散步的步。我们看那个甲骨文，我们可以看两个脚，一个左边的脚，右边的脚，往前走。我们也可以看经文
可以看它的演变，一直到现在的简体字、繁体字。So, so another very common character is bu, which means to walk or to step. We can say yi bu, liang bu, san bu. It means one, two, or three steps. We can see the right and left foot in the oracle character, and we can see how it gets modified in the seal character. And the modern character they get run together. San bu means to take a walk, and bu xing means to take steps, or also to walk. Any questions or comments? You may see two characters. 没有老师，都很清楚。好，这个也是一个很常看到的字。我们上面看的那个好像是“图”，泥土的“土”，下面有一个“直”，可是。有几个字是上面有图，可是它的真正的来源是“打”或是“要”或是其他的字。我们看那个甲骨文、金文、专体字都差不多，下面是一个“直”，就是一个“脚”，然后上面是一个“人”，呃，它的“手”是。可以看得出来，好像好像是它是散步或是跑步。In Chinese, there are a number of characters where on the top we see what appears to be a tu. Tu means dirt, where in fact the tu comes from a、um, either a da, a person with his legs spread. Or a yao, or something like that. If you think about it, you can imagine how the character da, a per a big person, if you spread the legs apart and draw it quickly, it can change into a two. So this is not the only character where you have a two on the top that actually comes from a person. So means to walk or to basically to walk. So the jig go jian, can often see many words in the middle. They are on the side. The side is a sign signifying action. Gan is 做的很快，英文叫 to rush。超 means to 超过。干超。So you see this character Zhou, which means to walk. There are a number of characters where you will find this component on the left hand side. And the other component will be a phonetic. Here we have two examples: gan, which means to rush, and chao, which means to surpass. The phonetic gan, and the another phonetic chao, chao and chao. They are pronounced slightly differently, but you can realize after several thousand years, they used to be pronounced the same.
这个字读“往”，我们常常说“往前走 ”，that means to go forward。这个字有一点复杂，如果我们看甲骨文，上面我们可以看一个“直”。下面我们可以看一个国王的王，我应该给听给你们看一个国王的王的一个正体的全部的字。可是下面的王，它是一个标音符号。然后常常，慢慢常常在从甲骨文到经文到甲呃专体字，一个字会变成越来越复杂，因为一个字的如果它演变了，老百姓可能看不清楚是什么东西，所以他们要放一个其他的构件，让老百姓知道是什么东西。如果我们看那个专体字。那那个经文，如果我们看经文，那个上呃，早那个上面的右边的那个东西，就是加古文来的那个王的演变。然后到专体字下面的那个字不在，然后它一直演变到现在的往前走。在右边，我们可以看到一个字，单独的读“主”，可是这个是不是一个“主”？这个是一个“王”的来源。这两个字是看得起来完全一样，可是有不同的来源。So there's a common character, Wang. We often say, "Wang Qian Zhou." It means go forward, walk, or go straight ahead. If we look at this oracle character, we see on the top we see a foot, and on the bottom we see the remnant of Wang, which means king. In this case, it's only a phonetic. Now, in many cases. The oracle character was very simplified, and as the simplified character gets more and more distorted, they will add components to clarify what the original character meant. In this case, we added a ch, which means motion. And they added a j on the bottom, which means motion. But notice that the character for Wang. Notice in the bronze character, in the upper right-hand side, that's the same as the oracle character. If you study it, if you look at it, you see the Wang gets changed to what looks like a two on the bottom, and the foot on top. Gets distorted, so you can take some time and look at this character and see how it gets distorted. Then finally, the bottom foot disappears, and we have a situation here where on we have many characters pronounced Wang. Many of these characters have a what looks like a. Jew on the right hand side. In fact, this is not a Jew. It comes from Wang. So you may recognize this character on the part of on the right hand side as a character pronounced Jew, but it's totally different origin. So if you find a character pronounced Wang, and it looks like it has a Jew on the side. It's not a Jew. It comes from Wang, which means to go forward. You have no question. You have no objection. I don't want to go too fast. 
，你可以看这个汉字，有没有问题？有有没有意见？没有老师，但是我有一个问题。哦，没有，但是有，好。<笑>没，呃，关于这个这个汉字我没有，但是我有一个问题，其他的汉字。好，什么问题？嗯、所以你说“停止”，呃，意思是 stop， 但是我知道，呃。其呃，其他的的汉字可以是呃，意思是，什么的？是停止和停止。呃，停止。我刚你说我刚刚说的那个停止的止吗？呃，对，我呃，我知道呃。其他的汉字，嗯嗯，叫“静止”，呃，有没有呃两个意思？停止的“止”跟这个“往前的走”，往前的“往”。对对对对。呃，呃我这个“止”，你看的这个“止”就是一个 “foot”。可是，如果你分析一个字，有的时候它是停止的意思，有的时候是往前走的意思，它就是一个 foot。所以你要看是哪一个字里面，然后要分析是什么意思。So what we have in in the character 值 ，it's just a foot. It usually means to go or to move. But you have to look at the character. Each character may be different, and so you have to analyze the character to see what it actually、I、comes really from.、Means. Yeah. Yes. And in this character, you have there are many characters that have a ch and a j, and all of them mean have something to do with to go. And the wang is basically it's a double meaning. The wang here means to go, and the chu and the chu also mean to go. So sometimes you have to use your imagination with Chinese characters. It's not always simple. Simple. <laughs> 谢谢你的，嗯、um, ，你的，嗯、um,。解释。Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Can so remember. Can you go, can you go sure? back a little bit to the、uh, to the word "chao"? Chao word to surprise. To surprise. Okay. Okay, so here we have another、uh, foot, and、um, what? How do you relate that with?、Uh, you mean like a run? These、uh, characters uh, uh, originally represents a person running, and that's、yeah. what Chao Guo means to to pass other people's running. Or well, how and do you, how do you explain this? Okay, in the original character Joe, it now means to walk, but it probably meant to run, because the picture of the man looks like he is running. So, when we look at ancient Chinese, we have to, in some cases, we have to guess, because now Joe means to walk, but In ancient times, it probably meant to run, but all right. So that frequently, frequently we cannot be sure. But, uh, we look at that two words, that "gan." Uh, these two words are "gan" and "gan." So, sometimes, 
我们分析那个本来的那个构建，它可能有一个意思，它可能改变的。可是这两个字都是跟要跑得快有关系，所以我们在以前的时候可能是跑的意思。So many times we want to look, we may want to look at multiple characters and try to make a an educated guess. What the original character actually meant, but you are correct. You see that the two characters Gan and Shao mean to go fast, so that you are thinking very well, thinking so very quickly. Thank you very much. But I have another question here about the the knife there, Dao. I can understand why uh, Chao means to surprise, have a, a man and a cool there. You, when you run, you have to keep your mouth open in order to breathe correctly. But why a knife? Okay. What's your opinion about that? Okay, Chao, the, a, a mouth and a knife is pronounced Chao. So it's only a phonetic, no relationship no. to the meaning. Because Dao and Zhao, good eye the show, Tamil should tongue you do for Shay Dao. Rugo Dan do the nega Zhao, nega Dao Shri Ga Biao Ying Fu Hao. If you just take the character on the right, it means to call someone. I'm calling you, or Zhao Ni, or Zhao Ni the Ming. Yeah. So it's only a phonetic. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. Learning, learning is what we want to talk about. So, no problem. Any other questions? Okay. Any other questions or comments? Mayo. Shall I get to it? Shu means to leave or to go away. If we look at the seal character, we have no idea what it is. If we look at the oracle character, we can see that it is a foot leaving an enclosure. Not necessarily a cave, but an enclosure. So it not only means to go away or to leave, it also means it probably meant to go out, go out of. Oh. 我写错了，这个应该是写出，不应该是王。嗯，所以是一个知。然后那个有的时候我们可以看下面的那个，好像是一个山洞。这个字读看，它不一定是一个 cave， 不一定是一个山洞，可是它有的时候是一个盒子，有的时候是一个房子。So this character, uh, I, it should be pronounced Chu, which means to leave. And as you can see, it is a foot coming out of an enclosure. And uh, on the right, we have a common character, Zhi, which originally basically meant to go. You see the foot is starting out from some place and going away from some place. And we off, we find that it can sometimes be translated to go out of. But it's usually used for a grammatical particle, which it makes it hard to explain. I chose a grammatical usage for it that I think I can explain. And it's also very useful. 
we have the word sifanjiri. That means four fraction jiri. You can translate it as four pieces come out one. It means one quarter or one fourth. And this is very useful in Chinese when you want to talk about fractions. Shi Fun uh, any questions or comments on these characters? So it should be chu means go out of. And uh, zhi also has the kind of basic meaning of out of. One you out wish, of four. You wait some more. Uh, see a wang. In a any other questions or comments? Okay. Okay, let's see. We've got about seven minutes left before break. So let's talk about what you have been learning in your Chinese. Let's have a little conversation and not just me teaching about Chinese characters. Maybe you can tell me some characters you learned or some questions you have. So tell me something about your study of Chinese. You can send me pictures on Weixing. So let's see. It's almost Chi Yeah. 
Anything interesting in Qi Yue? It's almost, it's the, tomorrow will be the beginning of the seventh month. Let's see, today is the fourth day. Come on, give me some, give me some feedback into what you're learning, into any questions you have about Chinese characters or anything we've learned so far. So, yeah. To forbid. Oh, to ver to forbid. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tamanburongi 可能有不好的地方。森林里面，这个是forest。So，我分析这个，我看森说森林里面有危险的东西，所以不能进去。Sometimes in in ancient Chinese, we had tree spirits. Oh. And some of those tree spirits were evil. And so if the Chinese went into the forest, he might run into a tree fairy. They believed that trees were like witches. And my interpretation of this, which may not be correct, is that the gods say, don't go into this forest. You might get lost. Maybe a tree fairy. There, in Chinese mythology, they have ghosts. They're not actually ghosts. They're ch special Chinese things. And almost all ghosts are women. Of and course. Or, or folks. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, fox fairies. And the women, you look at the women and they are beautiful. Usually they're beautiful, except they have black tongues. And frequently you can, so you cannot that's tell how, them. Uh, you sure? That's how you recognize a fox, right? She well, has black tongues. It's, it's how you might recognize a goat. Yes, a fox fairy. She might have a black tongue. She's usually beautiful. And you can tell that she's a ghost instead of a woman. But also the trees can become ghosts. The trees can become spirits. Women can become spirits. Foxes can become spirits. So, Gudai the Jungwa the Mi Xing, Gan Xi Fang the Yo Handa the Hando the Bu Yang the Di Fang. This is my opinion. I'm not sure if it's true. But 
，如果你有别的，你可以思考一下，如果你有别的可能的，你可以跟我说。呃，以前我觉得这个金，嗯、呃，是呃，是跟嗯，呃，跟呃，怎么说？老呃，老天呃，有意思，但是我不知道怎么呃，怎么。呃，考虑呃，三零，所以你的你的意见对对我来说很很有意思。啊，我不知道如果是对呃的，但是对我来说很有意思。啊，谢谢。现在我可以呃，可以明白为什么。呃，用这个汉字，呃，表示精致。嗯，谢谢老师。有一本非常有名的书，叫《聊斋志异》。《聊斋志异》有四百一十个小故事，是明代的小故事，他们都是鬼的故事，都是奇怪的故事。这本书我觉得是非常有意思的。There is a 你可以，你可以写呃的题呃的题题目。聊呃对，聊在这里。聊在这里。对，给他们看。呃，聊在这里 means stories. There are, if you come to China, if you're educated in China, there are about 20 books that every Chinese knows about. One of those books is called Liao Zai Zhi. Okay, here, here's a, this is kind of a picture of it. Well, these are the, these are the words Liao Zai Zhi. But this book, Liao Zai Zhi Yi means the stories, the strange stories of Liao Zai. And there are many, there's about 410 ghost stories of Liao Zai Zhi Yi. And they are very strange stories. You can see from the picture here that there are strange stories. Anyway. Um, I saw those books in the Confucius Institute, but not all of them. I mean, um, they are oh, included in they are included in the in the in a collection called classical chinese but i'm not sure how many volumes this um, this book has because i only see two of them uh yes it's a very it's quite a large book uh the complete set i think has about 410 stories and uh, Basically, if you get a complete book of Liao Zai Zhi, sometimes you can get a simplified version. You should always get a commentary version because the ancient Chinese, the Ming Dynasty Chinese is quite difficult to understand. Yes, but, I, I read one, uh, one book 
fortunately it has English translation, simplified Chinese on one side and translation in English in other side. So uh, that's yes. how I can uh, read it. Yes, good. So these stories are quite interesting and they're short. So you can try to read and it probably won't take you forever to read one story and then two stories and then three stories. But I will tell you a story about uh, getting a PhD in literature. I once thought I might Ooh. want to get, I do not have a PhD. I, I once thought I- I just got uh, my S today. <laughs> you just got your PhD? Yes, today. Oh, congratulations. Yes, today. In literature. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, good. What did you get Yesterday, your PhD? Yesterday, yes. That, that's why in literature, um, to be my uh, to be more exactly in linguistics, Romanian linguistics. Oh, congratulations. I study, uh, Romanian Romanian dialect. And oh. um, if you want to create a cra if you want a crazy story about uh, doing um, finish my PhD and learning Chinese in the same time, that's it. Oh. That's the crazy story of this year for my life. You should write your story and send it to us. Uh, okay, I I can try uh, in English and Chinese. <laughs> okay, good. That's have... the great story of my life this year. And what um, what more importantly, I managed to do both. So that's why what? you don't see me very often this month because I tried to finish my, my thesis. Oh yes. And yesterday I was presenting it in the front of the of the in the front of of many teachers. So oh. I am very happy. Oh, Hungasi. Yes, congratulations. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's very. I once asked if you know the Liao Zai Zhi has never been completely translated into English. So I asked if I if I translated it into English, would they give me a PhD? They said no. I have to write a criticism. If I write oh. 200 pages of criticism, they will give me a PhD. So I told them that their PhD was garbage. Mm. Because it is far better to be able to read the stories. No one anywhere wants to read a criticism. Anyway, that's one of my stories. Gongxini ni do da ni da bo shi shi wei. Han gao xing. Wo de dao, dan shi xian zai wo deng yi xia yin wei um dao dao de shi liang ge yue liang ge yue yi hou wo ke yi dao de oh ke yi de dao liang ge yue yi hou ke yi bi ye hao an shi xian zai xian zai dou hen hao o hen gao xin hen gao xin wo ye hen gao xin uh,
，谢谢老师。<笑>好，我们现在说。是是吉祥，我不，嗯、呃、嗯、呃，你说，是吉祥，嗯、呃，我不知道是什么还是是实在的的事情，但是我很高兴，很高兴，对，呃，博士学位的，如果毕业生的生活是。一辈子的最辛苦的时间，我觉得。你说的对。Uh, I think graduate school is the worst time of your life. At least, that's my opinion. 呃、uh, ，你说的对，我很辛苦，因为，嗯、um, ，一般。呃，需要工作，一般学习，呃，完成我的博士论文，一般学习韩语，所以、嗯、<笑>一边学习韩语，所以我很累，但是现在我很高兴，呃，我希望通过呃所有的考试，韩语的考试，所以我可以呃。骄傲一下，啊、uh, ，对，哎呀，很好，解放了，你你现在自由。好，我们呢听这个视频。Zhu means footprint, from foot or leg Zhu, and the related phonetic foot going forward Zhu. The component Zhu often appears at the bottom. For example, in the character Zhu and Shu, they are believed to be both of the same origin. They both came from a pictograph of a leg and a knee, which is attached to the foot. By the time the seal characters had arrived, they had become two different forms. The leg with a knee can indicate walking, as usually the case with Zhu, or it can indicate bending uh, or rotation, which is usually the case with shu. Zhu is very common. Shu is quite uncommon. Zhu means foot. A very common component found on the left side and indicating the character has something to do with motion. Zhu is the standalone form. For example, ba means to go by foot. Yue means to jump. Shu is means a roll or a bolt of cloth. It also comes from foot. It is not so common component, but it is found on the left and indicates motion. Shu is the standalone form. Shu originally meant to dredge and remove an obstruction. It comes from flow, pronounced liu, and the phonetic shu. It is subject to variant elimination rule C540. P is a counter for horses. It has nothing to do with Shu, but it is subject to the ridiculous variant elimination rule C444. P originally probably comes from the musical chime. P, you can see my description under the musical instruments section. Xuan means a lathe. Xuan means lathe. From metal, jin, and the related phonetic meaning revolve, xuan. It is subject to the simplification rule A280. It was later modified. They first simplified it to xuan, which simply means to turn. After a few decades of confusion, they decided to change it back. Xuan is now an okay character, but it should be simplified in the usual way as Xuan. Now we have two ways in which it can be simplified. Xuan means to revolve or rotate. It comes from a flag, yan, and the leg or knee, shu. Probably it indicated that the knee can rotate. It is subject to the simplification rule A280. Song means from. 
Song is actually the original character, and it consisted of two people facing left, one following the other. Later, they added the two extra components, chi and zhi, to indicate it was coming from some place by road. It comes from the road on the left, chi, and the foot forward, zhi, and it has the related phonetic, song, which is two people facing left. It is subject to the simplification rule B018. Chi plus zhi in most cases would be reduced to road and foot, chuo. For example, in the character da and jing, which means road, and jing, which means to go forward. Zhi is how it appears in the character qian. Qian means forward or in front of. The foot zhi in the, is in the front of the boat, indicating the boat is going forward. It comes from the remnant yue, which comes from boat zhou, and the remnant dao, which comes from water shui. Also, the on the top we have this remnant zhi. Oops, the foot going forward, zhi. How? Ah, we are now looking at these words. 我们看这个直，直是 footprint。我跟你，我做啊，你说。喂，有问题吗？老师。呀。对不起，老师，我没有问题。哦，好。好，所以这个是直，它是一个脚印。我。再跟你说，这个值可能是说脚，也可能是说脚印，这个就是脚印。可是古代的时候，呃，大部分的人以为这个值，也单独的值也是一个脚印。我们有，呃，中间有一个猪，这个字是下面有一个值，上面有一个腿。所以这个猪就是腿的意思，腿跟脚的意思。呃，下面有很有很多的字，呃，这个猪猪大部分的时候在左边，很多的字有一个猪在左边，比如说“把”就是 to go by foot， 啊、呃，“跃”就是 to jump。So here we have the character for footprint, zhi. It consists of a new character, zhu, which is actually a leg and a foot, and also another character, zhi, which we previously learned as a foot. In the middle, we have a um, the character zhu. And it actually comes from the two characters you see here are actually supposedly from the same source. Uh, they come from a leg and a foot, and they basically mean a leg including the foot. This character zhu, you will see it in many characters, and it's usually on the left-hand side. Two examples are ba, which means to go by foot. And yue, which means to jump. Notice how they simplified yue. They made it into a totally different character. Yue means to jump. Back in 1958, I think it was, they had the great leap forward. Da yue jing. That means the great jump forward. So it's one place you can use this character. 另外一个书，这个是现在是一个一块布的
意思，可是它原来也是一个角。你可以看那个砖体子跟竹很像，它们本来应该是呃同一个字。甲骨文你可以看全部的脚跟腿。呃，右边的书很少看到，左边的书常常看到。So the Jew and the Shu are believed to be from the originally the same character.、Uh, in fact, we're pretty sure. And it was a pictograph of a leg and a foot. And they, there are many characters that have a Jew on the side. Only a few characters have shu on the side, so you can look at these components. One example with a shu on the side. This is maybe a more clear picture of the shu. Is is shu? It means to dredge or to remove an obstruction. On the right hand side, you see a liu. Ordinarily, you would have a phonetic on the right hand side, but this is、uh, appears to be what's called a hui yi zi. So Liu, you see what is a upside down child, and what appears to hair hair coming out. I think we explained this character before. It's amniotic fluid, and it、uh, describes something that is flowing. Another. This is another character where, when they simplified it, they did a really stupid thing. They actually made it more complicated. They、uh, basically replaced a phonetic with a meaning component. So you see, the shu originally was a phonetic, and they replaced it with a liu, which、uh, basically destroys the logic behind it. Simplification rule five forty. 有没有问题或是意见？呃，没有。这个字读皮，因为我现在说书，所以我必须说。有一个很荒谬的一个简化的方法，这个 P 的来源，呃 ，P 跟书完全没有关系，呃，到现在没有人知道他们的他们的逻辑，可是他们，呃，在一九五五年，他们说这两个字是一体字，这两个字从来不是一体字。呃，可是有这个规矩 ，C 四四四，很非常荒谬的。如果你有，如果你知道这个从什么地方来的，如果你们知道这个有什么逻辑，你可以告诉我。弦，这个单独的弦，这个简体字。这个是旋转的意思。Uh, let's see. I should go back and explain this in English. There's a because we're talking about the character、uh, shu. I must ex, I must point out the、uh, variant elimination rule four four four, which says that the character p is the same as the character. Shu, which is nonsense, they probably just did it because it's not used very often. 
If you can find any explanation other than nonsense, I would be glad to hear it. Now there's a character, Shen, on the, the simplified character. It consists of the Shu and uh, combination Yen. Okay, over on the right hand side. We'll look at the right hand character first, Shen. It means to revolve. And it consists of the character Yen. Usually when you see a Feng on the left hand side, it's part of the radical, it's part of the component. But if you see this thing on top, there's a character called Yen. And you see the Fong and that thing on the upper right hand corner, that's one character. That character is pronounced Yen and it means flag. And Shu is a is the character for a leg. So this probably means to dance around the flag. Uh, when they had many in in many ancient cultures, they had dances around a center point, usually a flag. So this would probably be a dance around the flag and it meant to revolve. But they Uh, 这个书就是一个教一个腿有一个lathe,一个旋。你可能以为一个lathe是一个新代的机器,可是古代的时候他们有一个wooden so this is a case where 70 years ago, 65 years ago, they simplified it just to the component. But then there was a lot of confusion. So just a few years ago in 2013, they decided it was okay to resurrect this character. And now you have two simplified forms. The lathe has been around for maybe 20,000 years, wooden lathes. But recently, they have lathes, as you know, are made of metal. So it has simplification rule A280. Now, are there any questions about these characters? Any questions or comments about these characters? Yamiya Winti Hoshi Jian. Is it clear as mud? Oh, 
，谢谢老师。所以这个从从来 ，from the beginning， 呃，这个简体字跟繁体字，原来这个简体字就是原来的那个字，可是可能那个字太简单的，所以他们做的比较复杂，他们加了一个吃，就是一个一条一条路的，然后加一个直。所以繁体字的“从”就是右边的那个字，这个字也是很久。专体字有这个“错”跟“从”。经文比较简单一点，有一个“吃”跟“从”。甲骨文就是两个人，一个追，一个在另外一个人的后面，他们是往左边看。So this means from. Or following, and the logic is that one man is following the other man, or so it means from. But to make it more clear, they added a road and a foot. Notice how they added the road and the foot. 在右边的时候，你可以看一个常常会看到的一个构件，叫“错”。这个是，这个不是 revolve， 这个是哦，走 walk。对，要注意。呃，“错 ”means to go. It means it's a combination of road and foot, and You see the oracle there. You see the road intersection on the left, and the foot on the bottom. And you see how it gets simplified to the jointed, and then later to the fantied, jointed. So what you see on the left. Is the full form a ch and a j, but the ch is a simplified form of those two characters. So in the right, you can see a ch and a j. In the majority of the old Chinese characters, you can see a ch. Ch is connected with movement. There are two words. One is dao. 就是路的意思，一个是进，一个是往前走。有没有问题或是意见？没有问题，没有意见。这个是签，嗯、呃，你说，这个是很很有意思的汉字。啊，我我古代的时候，可以，嗯、呃，古代的时候没有呃好办法呃理解这个汉字，所以，啊、呃，我。Um, um, how do I say invent? Um, I, um, I made up my own story about that one. Oh yeah. I, I uh, imagine that the the first the top part is the head of the soldier. From the past, so each end, the right part is the the body because it's you and means meat, right? And yeah. the second part, which means thou, is the spear held by by that、uh, spearman in the past. Oh、uh, yes. So that's、uh, my logic. 
Yes, many children have to make up their own logic because their teachers do not know the original stories. So I made up my own story. Yeah, sometimes the made up story is as good as the original story. So what's the original story for that one? So I think it's Wang Qian Zhou means to go forward. So Nikan Nega Jing Wen Jishiga Joe Sai Shamian Shangmian Yo Iga Chi Shai Jiga Chi Shi Shua Nega Chuan Shi Wang Chen Zo Nega Jing Wen Gan Jago Wen and Jing Wen Gan Jan Tiz Tiga Loji Han Ming Bai Taman Holai Ja Iga Dao so the logic here, if we look at the bronze character, we see a foot in front of a boat. And the foot indicates that the boat is going forward. So it means forward or in front of. But the foot became very distorted. The boat became a month, or the boat became a moon. Yo Isia Zi Nega Jo Hui Benjung Yeah. In we jogan yeah, Rogani Shed Hung Kwai, We Kanashai Chabado. So there are several characters where a boat becomes a moon character. So you have the moon, the boat there. You mean Chuan? Chuan. Oh, okay. Okay. The character Chuan has a yen on the side. That means a big boat. Chuan means a big boat. Joe means a little boat. So this character is pronounced Joe. And there are several characters where it gets changed to a Yue. The Zhi gets changed to something strange on top. But the Dao, where does the Dao come from? In some ancient Can characters, I in some ancient characters, the I think the Nishua. I think it comes from the knife you have to use in order to relieve the ball from the shore. Mm. In it order could for be. both to go forward. Ah, yes, it could be. Uh, I suspect. There are also some characters where a Dao comes from a Shre. Like, I will show you, is a character where Dao comes from Shre. So it would probably make more sense if it's a modification of, there's a character called uh, Gu, and it's actually a modification of Sui. But it's hard to find proof of that. It could be a knife cutting the boat away from the shore. But it probably comes from Shui. I think. Take a sure Wang Chen Zoda. Any comments or questions? Uh, I have a question. Do you have any other characters where uh, Ju? Is distorted that way. Uh, there's a character called Yu Jada Yu, the Yu in yoga, and there's oh. a a character Sheng, which means victory. The the uh, Fantids also has that, and there's a bunch of characters that where the character for victory also means it's pronounced Jung. Uh, there's there's a number of characters I will try to remember to show to them to you next time. 
谢谢。嗯，好。老师。Yeah。老师 ，Why you not translated as 呃、uh, 那个字呃走、uh, as like 呃、uh, 肯定 for sure。Why I don't translate it as what? Uh, as uh, like you translate it like uh, kunting, kun. Kunting. Uh huh. Oh, kunting. Uh huh. Kunting the kun. Oh, yeah. So we, it's more easier to uh translate it as uh look forward for sure. <laughs> uh, kunting. Kunding as a different, yeah. Kunding as oh, I know. Ah, 对对，呃，你明白？很聪明。我跟你说这个字。那我想，你给我看这个下面。Kunding. Think it's a kunding the kun. Do you? Oh, the la. Do you? Do you? Think it's a kunding the lion. 上面有一个骨头，下面有肉。Kunding. Its modern meaning is to make sure. But its original meaning was to kunguto, means to chew on a bone. So on the left hand side, you can see the top part is a bone. The top part is this. It's a bone, and the bottom part is row. Is a legu, so kunding is an entirely different source. It its modern meaning means to make sure of, but its original meaning means to chew on, and so. The bottom part there is actually from row, and the top part, zhi, actually comes from a, a bone. So, oh, but you're correct. It accidentally, it accidentally looks like it accidentally looks like this. Which means it's very similar. So, you're very smart. Uh, Hans has a lot of very similar. So, this this is the original one. The top one. This is the original one. The original one. So, very good. Very good question. Uh, they look very similar, but they have different origins. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. Okay. Now we have. So, most of the time I do all the talking. Uh, we have another seven minutes. So, let's talk about some of your experiences with Chinese, China, basically anything about China. We don't want to just talk about Chinese characters. 
哦，七夕啊，对，这个是跟这个呃，因为因为你说要到七月份了，七月七号，对，农历，农历，呃、uh, ，So what you what is your question about 七夕 ？About the moon in the seventh month? I can tell you about 七月七号。嗯，那就讲吧，就是他只是说七夕是七月份的。Oh, okay, 七月份。So there's a character, 七 ，and there's a character 月。So there is a character Yue. Yue. And this is the seal character, and this is the Jiago one. And then there's a character Xi, which also means moon. This is the seal character, and this is the Jiago one. So you can see there are two moons. One of them has a mark on it. And the other doesn't, and so Qi Xi can mean the seventh moon Qi Yue. But there's also a story of Qi Yue Qi Hao. How many people know the story of Qi Yue Qi Hao, the seventh day of the seventh month? I don't know, sir. I don't know. There's a story uh, of. Some of a weaver girl and a cowherder boy. I can't remember the whole story, but、uh, they were separated, and they can only meet in the sky once a year, and that's on the seventh day of the seventh month. It's kind of a love story, and it happens that when I was married, my first wife, I was married on Chiyue Chiha. It's sort of like Valentine's Day. Chia Chiha, Chia Chiru. It's kind of like Valentine's Day. The weaver girl and the cowherder.、Uh, yeah, and the、uh, shepherd boy. They get to meet once a year on the seventh day of the seventh month. Any other questions? Huh? I know that story a little bit different <laughs> because the mother,、uh, who is uh, very, he think、uh, she thinks that uh, the uh, uh, the cowherder boy is not suit for his for her daughter. So, yes.、Um, she made some spell、oh. and、uh, make them. Uh, be apart, except for this、uh, day when、yeah. uh, the birds in the sky make made like a bridge for them in order for them to meet. But、uh, yes. the the bird the birds has to be careful because the mother is there and watching, and they can only do that once a year for a few for a short period of time. Ah、uh, yes, very good. I only knew half of the story, but that's frequently the case. I don't know、uh, that the story has a relationship with that date. That's why I said I don't know the story. Hmm. Yeah, good. Frequently, I only remember half of the story. Any other? Uh, comments about China, Chinese culture, Chinese characters.
Um, <laughs> what the um han uh han you yo han do a yo is the the gush. So the han zhe yo yi ge xiao gush. If we have time, we must be sure. Um, she she uh, Jagger Gush Dansh. Um, Yoda Shako Hunt Fuda and Bunong Gaming by Wishama. Um, Isie Hanzu Kantilai, uh, Kantilai, um, Jagger Yangz. So he. Um, Then you you um so you told us uh, blind memorization that's the case mm -hmm. if we do that it's very easy to forget how to write or how to recognize the characters uh, yes mm -hmm. um if we have time you can uh, show us um a little bit more about the characters you saw before with that uh, tian looks like the uh, the foot um which appears like in tian from etn yeah usually uh or you can write to us and i found uh, them afterward uh chen Yes. is an exception. Usually when you have a character, it's not too distorted, but that one of the characters is this character. This is the character for Yatcher. This is the character for Teeth. I saw. This is Ren the Yatcher. Now, they become fantasy is this way. They show me, a lot of shows is this way. Yodashoshanyangsu.
So any other questions or any other comments or stories? I think. Okay. 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 Okay.